I think we'll, we'll continue you playing. I think so. The labyrinth? Yeah. Okay. I'll do the investigation, you, you do, do the labyrinth. See, it's 50-50. Okay, 50 /50. sure. Hi, I'm Christian, aka Snakebird, and welcome to my channel. Numbers define who we are, so you should hit that subscribe button to help me feel better about myself. My lifelong dream is to surpass ninjas and subscribers, so you should really hit that button to help me out. Please enjoy the video, and remember, bigger number, better person. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Master, Yay. finish him! Finish him. Shove all your evidence into the solution blade and slash as hard as you can. Yeah. We're gonna slash him oh. with the solution blade. After 30 minutes of filling in this comic book. <laughs> Look at this comic okay. book! What's the R? It's that one. That's on the right. R, R stands for right. around the thing, on the, on the queue. This. Where did the culprit Yeah, that's, that's the map. Do it. Yeah, and wonderful uh, stop motion. So he did cut no, no. it. Oh, that one. Look at him. In 5k. <laughs> wow. In the rain, he does look kind of famous to him. Yeah, it is. Oh, I should have killed him. Is that you killing both of them? They That's both deserve true. to die. They're both dead. I forgot about that part where they die. Alright, now you get to sit back and relax. <laughs> Watch step right up, step right up. A series of locked room murders based on an urban legend. Will we discover the true identity? I know that the true identity of the man. <laughs> the mystery of this string of events, we have to know who the mailman is first. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, the mailman yeah, is an urban legend of Kanai Ward. You write down the name of someone you want dead, and drive a nail through it and a doll to a tree behind the church. And the mailman will kill that person for you with a countless number of nails. A string of murders exactly like that urban legend began half a year ago. All of the crime scenes featured a corpse and dolls nailed down within a locked room. The first murder happened six months ago at a secret club in Kamasaki District. The victim was none other than the geezer who owned the place, and the cause of death was strangulation! I heard the buy-in to place a bet was pretty steep, and cheating was rampant, so it was obviously a scummy place. The key to the door was inside of a glass. The vent that connects outside looked too high for escape to be possible. But the culprit used the nails driven into the wall as footholds to climb. the corpse. That's how you know he was still an amateur back then. <laughs> the nails that were bent downward. The vent was not screwed down at the time of the murder. So it could easily be removed and used as an escape room. The second murder happened three months ago. It was at a mansion near Gima District. The victim was some real estate agent who lived there, and the cause of death was again strangulation. He made a lot of money through shady real estate deals, so of course someone would be out to get him. The door to the crime scene was the only possible entrance. But the key to that door was underneath the nailed down victim. After the culprit escaped, some sort of trick was used to get the key back into the room. The fishing line passed from the vent through the eye socket of the doll and propped up the upper body of the corpse. All that was left was to exit the room, lock it, throw the key in from the vent, and boom! You got yourself a locked room mystery! Yes. The key was tossed under the victim from the vent, and once the fishing line was retrieved, the corpse's upper body fell over. Completing the crime scene. The nails on the upper body didn't pierce through completely, so it wasn't nailed down at all. The third murder happened one month ago in an art gallery storage room in Gima District. The skank's cause of death was blood force trauma. She was a pretty lady who let her looks get to her head, and she got boom killed. The key to the storage room was nailed to a painting through a doll. Another trick was used to get the key back inside the room here. The painting with the doll nailed to it was propped up against the window, and then the culprit left the room. They nailed the key to the painting through the window, knocked it over, and bam! All done! Uh, Those are the so. truths behind the past three cases. I mean, well, the, the real now, nail man was just climbing up on nails. <laughs> At least he had gloves. <laughs> yeah. At least he burned his shoes and stuff. We gotta solve this case. The clock tower crime scene is rather high up on the third floor. The door was locked from the inside, and the window shutters were also locked. But there was rainwater under the window, and the nails in two of the dolls had rug marks. In other words, the culprit must have hung a rope ladder from the dolls to escape out the window. With my logic, anything is possible. Why are you imitating Halara? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. The killer cut their footing on the way down from the window. No, that has to, like, destroy the that structural way, integrity of the rope. On one side of the rope to retrieve the possible? whole thing. The shutters come down under their own weight. So they locked once the rope was collected. I'm surprised you noticed the auto locking feature. You sure love your shutters, Master. The rope ladder was collected. And he just went back home with his church rope. incinerator, <laughs> which only clergy have access to. That's how we know the mailman must be someone from the clergy. But one question arose from this. He'll make you and share one more characteristic. All the victims were murdered by strangulation. 
this piece of information wasn't publicized. Someone mimicking the nail. But I already know the identity of the copycat killer. It was Worshipper. Worshipper. First, the mailman must be someone thin enough to pass through the vent. Someone with the skills to build a key of precision. We have to have skill for that. <laughs> so what you just have to have a no broken arm for that? You're the nail yeah, I guess so. And Worshipper, you did one of the four killings, so they're also kind of affiliated with him. Mm -hmm. The copycat is someone who knows that all of the victims <laughs> like, were what? strangled to death. Because he was the first witness in each case, the person capable of replicating the mailman's crimes is... The Worshipper! You're the copycat criminal! I'm to slash you with all my facts. This is the truth oh, they're of both the case. Here. Yeah, they're both getting slashed. What's that? It's the truth. The soul of the true culprit who built this mystery labyrinth. I see. It looks otherworldly, but there's an ominous air around it. Thank you, Halara. I was only able to make it this far thanks to you. I only kept my part of the deal. Lara didn't do anything, man. <laughs> you made the right choice hiring me. But I will say money. one thing. You came to hear what I remember. Another step <laughs> being a detective. She still has that her much is certain. detective skills. Though. I, Halara Nightmare, acknowledge you. We just have to get the law to acknowledge us. Yep. Really, Halara? And then maybe we won't be an intern. Do? Wow, we get promoted. A regular member. <laughs> it's a nasty detective. Whoa. All right, all eyes on Shinigami. What's about to happen? Oh, isn't it obvious? Buffet. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to go kill the bad guy. Oh, it is actually like mono monokuma ex uh, execution. There's a science fiction book like that. I've been meaning to read it. I forget what it's called though. Where it's like the the sea, whatever planet they're on, mm. it's like a big turtle that floats in space. Mm. And then there's like four elephants on top. And then there's a flat earth on top. And then that's the world. It's on top of four elephants. Who no, are no, no. There's, there's a big turtle, huge turtle, okay. right? That floats through space. Yeah. Then there's four elephants on top of the turtle. Uh huh. And there's a flat earth on top of the... And that's the world? And that's the world. And then humans live on the flat earth. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah, it's a classic. I forget what, who, who wrote it, though. Some guy in the 1900s. Mm. Oh, wait. Oh, by the way, it's the next episode. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 